I'm Lisa K. Donner, along with Andrew Moran, Sarah Calgill, Mark Angelides, and Jeff Charles. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. Well, we've talked about this before. In an effort to restore its damaged reputation, CNN is walking folks off the plank into waters unknown. Most recently, Don Lemon and Chris Wallace have been forced to jump from their cushy time slots. Is it all just smoke and mirrors? This purge is making the minions take note of their unbridled partisanship. But will it make the ratings soar? Jeff, you have a keen interest in following the antics of CNN. Warner Brothers Discovery said they were going to do this, and now they're following through. Yeah, I mean, I will say that I'm cautiously optimistic that CNN is going back to actual journalism instead of propaganda. Now, will it be enough to revive the network? Well, it certainly can't hurt. I mean, their their ratings have been in the tank for years since they became an anti-Trump Pravda. So this this things can only be looking up if they're actually serious about doing this. And some people have expressed doubts. I understand that. But I mean, with the recent moves that they've made, it, 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 is, it does seem like they're starting to slowly move in the right direction. So I'm still in wait and see mode. Well, it's interesting. You wrote a inter- uh, very good story for LibertyNation.com about this whole thing. And in that, you quoted Don Lemon, who was saying, you know, this was not a demotion moving out of prime time and into the morning slot. I can tell you, I worked in broadcast news for 10, 12 years. Moving out of prime time and into the morning is a demotion. <laughs> that, that was his way. The, the translation of that is, I'm just glad I still have a job for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's got to be that's got to be what he's coming up with. I mean, he's got to make it look good. You know, he can't, you know, continue to bite the hand that feeds him. So I'm guessing he's just playing along for the time being. And, and, and honestly, I haven't watched CNN for any regular uh, news probably since it became very, very into the Clintons back in the 90s. So, I mean, shortly after the um, first shock and awe and uh, dust and uh, what was that? What was the battle called? Anyway, the first uh, bombing in the Gulf. Um, the first Gulf by, War, yeah. Yeah, by George. H.W. The older George. Yeah. Right. So I, I, you know, after that, it kind of all went downhill. I watched it religiously until it became more political. Yeah, that was their highlight. You know, Mark, I'm wondering, as managing editor of Liberty Nation now, obviously we're not a television station, but do you think they can right the ship? I mean, will people actually return? No, no, I really don't think so, Lisa. It's, um, I mean, it looks like they've discovered that the media is technically still a free market economy. Without a doubt, I mean, if people don't like what they're selling, they're going to go somewhere else and get it. For example, to Liberty Nation, not that I'm biased uh, at all for that particular outlet. But um, I feel that there's really never been such a wealth of choices or options, nor manners in which that they can watch or consume those options. So uh, a phoenix like uh, Rebirth, I'm sure there's a Harry Potter reference there that Jeff could tell us. Um, I don't think it'll do them any good. It just seems a case of once bitten twice shy and i wouldn't be surprised if uh it's, it's warner brothers discovery isn't it the the new uh yes it's warner it. brothers discovery yeah and they said they were going to do this and it's interesting uh andrew is our economics guru, guru are you going to say it's the economy of it all stupid well that's the thing too i mean because it's all about the bottom line and it's all about you know padding the revenues is there even a demand for a neutral news network anymore an impartial source i mean in this type of environment could you imagine a guy like bernard shaw reading the news into in today's in today's environment it's highly doubtful that there's even a demand for people w- wanting unbiased source i mean look at today the top the top the top 10 uh for news networks and its personalities are msnbc and fox news you know tucker carlson that man turned woman over on MSNBC. What's her name now? Uh, Rachel Maddow, Rachel Maddow, you know, those right. people. I thought oh, you were talking all, about all, Caitlyn Jenner. 
<laughs> so people don't want people want confirmation bias. People want to you know their own views being being reported on, and that's it. So I highly doubt CNN will ever return to. And I I, I, I have to disagree with Sarah. You know of of you know in his early days of being you know, an objective news source because you know you saw the clip of them you know making up their uh, making up their reporting on on the on the spot with that green screen over in the, in Saudi Arabia. But overall, <laughs> you know, I highly doubt uh, CNN will be, will be able to do anything uh, worthwhile. Well, I think you have to also remember that. A train barreling down the tracks may hit the brakes, but it also will take about a mile to stop that train. It's going to take a while. It will take a while and they will have to have good, um, you know, ratings, good opinions, good, good coverage that says, hey, these guys are back at just reporting the news. You know, but that, you bring up something. going to take a while. Well, wait a minute, Andrew, you bring up something really interesting and I want Jeff to chime in on this. Is is what people want now? They they want sort of news from one side or the other. That they're not interested in. I'm just asking. I'm not you know setting you up for a fall or something. I just wonder <laughs> is is that how you see it? You know, I, I think Andrew is onto something. Everybody says that they want objective news. We all say it, but what do we incentivize? Andrew just told you who's the most popular in the top ten. That tells you what we really want because that's what we're using. Not, maybe not our dollars, but our ratings or our, our time. We're using it to incentivize that. And there, there are even journalists who talk about how, you know, if they use more sensational opinionated headlines, they get more clicks. So it, the consumers are telling us what they want, but it happens to be the opposite of what comes out of their mouths. So there's actually there's a case study that we can look to to determine the, the answer to this, Lisa. So in, in the UK, obviously... Most media is uh, comes from like the BBC or Sky News, uh, and it's always been very much to the left of center, if not a little further from the center. And then a new channel opened up, GB News, which is uh, headed up by Nigel Farage, of all people, uh, Mr. Brexit himself. Um, and now what they're putting out is fairly straightforward, central content. Now, people on the, the left call it far right content, but, but it really is very, very mainstream central content and it's killing the bbc and it's killing sky news and it's only been going it's going about a year and in all the key uh, market areas it's outperforming everywhere else and it really is if, if you could look at it objectively without your own prism of uh ideology through the looking glass as it were it, it really is very very much a central platform news station well, that's really interesting. You know, I've always personally believed in telling people where you're coming from. I mean, we say libertynation.com, just conservative news where truth matters. In other words, you know, we're coming from one angle. And I, I, I often wonder why, you know, the New York Times just doesn't tell you right up front what they're, you know, we're in the tank for the Democrats. Well, I'll tell I you something. I don't think anybody would have any problem if they actually well, I'm did not sure that, that's honestly. a good idea for them. Yeah, that's, yeah that's if, if they of, have yeah, that's good publicity. Yeah, if they were actually honest about it, I don't think most people would have a problem with it. People already know what which sites are or what which news outlets are left and which ones are right. And if you want to read both, you can read both. Exactly, Andrew. Go ahead. You got stopped twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just going to say. Uh, well, two things. One, there's in economics, there's something called the newspaper fallacy, and it's whereby a polling company contacts households, and the households say, you know, they want more foreign policy coverage, they want more business news, they want more politics. But in reality, what they really want is entertainment and sports. And then, second of all, up here in Canada, the CBC, a taxpayer-funded media outlet that's supposed to be objective, neutral, you know, unbiased, and they just recently announced that all new minority employees can uh, abandon this principle and air their own opinions in their coverage because they, they don't want to check their humanity out the door. So that's uh, oh. piggybacking on what Mark just said. What well, could possibly go wrong? Sure you don't want to move here, Andrew? <laughs> Andrew, well, you know, we don't make you check your personality at the door, but anyway. I don't have uh, one, so I don't have to worry about that. No wonder we, we embrace to, weirdos. We like yeah, weirdos. Exactly. <laughs> One has to wonder if, why it took so long for CNN to kind of wake up and smell the coffee. And I wonder if this will work. But maybe while they're changing, the entire audience has changed. Thanks so much, panel. That's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble. We're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, surf on over to libertynation.com. 
Special thanks to our fantastic editor and post coordinator, Frank DiOrio, and our executive producer, Sarah Calgill. I'm Lisa K. Donner, editor in chief. Thanks so much for joining us today. This has been a production of LibertyNation.com, where truth is making a comeback.